Computer. Captain's log. This is Commander Dr. Kai. And the star date is 25th of March 3301. Time is 1407.33. Just got back from a deep space survey. Managed to catalogue a black hole, um, several neutron stars, and a couple of interesting planetary objects that will be catalogued later. There'll be a debriefing tomorrow morning at 0800. Oh, um, and mental note, remind the viewers to buy an advanced discovery scanner in the next video. End log. Hello Space Cowboys, and welcome to my latest video. This is Commander Dr. Kai and his trusty computer. Docking request granted. Computer! Say hi to YouTube. Hi to YouTube. Computer! Shut up. No, you shut up. Okay, well on that note, let's begin the latest video. I think I'm going to crash... No, not today. A minute, you wanted me to. Yes, you've just got your ASP and you can't wait to get out there into deep space, but there's quite a few things you're going to need first. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to purchase to get your ASP at its maximum jump range. Anyway, here we are. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. We're at a star system called Nine Seti. I've come here because I know they sell everything we need. Um, we may get unlucky and they might be missing a couple of things because it is pretty random. But yes, let's go to the outfitting section. I've got a current unladen jump range of 33.71 light years. The current is 34.87, but that's because I'm missing a bit of fuel. So I'm a little bit lighter. You can't rely on that. 33.71 is what you're aiming for. You can get a little bit higher, but then you're going to be pretty naked out there in space and you don't want to be. So let's go through the basics. I would suggest you get a firstly a point defense because you will get interdicted from time to time and you're not going to have any guns. So as you're running away, you want to shoot down any missiles. It only weighs 0.5 tons, so it's got a nice place on your loadout. Also, you're going to want a heat sink launcher. You're going to get close to quite a lot of dangerous planetary objects which you've never seen before. They're going to screw you over, guaranteed. A heat sink launcher will save your life. Possibly even two. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, let's get to the crux of things. Right, the most important item in your exploration loadout is your A5 frameshift drive. They do sell it here, so you might want to come here. It's very hard to find. It costs 5 million credits. 5.1 million credits. So, yes, almost as much as the ship itself, but it's absolutely vital. It's obvious. Yeah. Okay. Next, you're going to want to put thrusters, life support, and sensors, all things you do not need, to the very lightest variant. That is the D. In all cases, in every single module, the D grade is the lightest grade of all the grades. A is second lightest, but you don't want A for these, especially because of the power draws. So yes, they sell them all here as well. We've got your D5 sensors, your D4 life support, and your D5 thrusters, all sold here. Yes, D5, there we go. Okay, then you want to put your power plant down to A2. It's going to be a little bit under, 9.6, and your deployed is 10.17. But it doesn't matter because you're gonna, I'll show you later, you're gonna disable a few drives that are gonna help out with that. Um, you're gonna want to put your power distributor down as far as you could possibly handle. I put it to an A3. That gives me the ability to boost fairly often. A2 would also work and it's lighter, so you will be able to squeeze out a little bit more. As you can see, I get 0 0.2 extra light years for that. If you're going very deep into space, that might be useful. Only problem is, you can only boost about once every 20 seconds. So if you're trying to escape, you might run into trouble. So A3, you might want to go for that. Okay. That is it in terms of the main modules. Now let's go down to your internal compartments. You want a large fuel scoop. Remember one thing. Anything you buy in terms of modules, you get to sell back for full price. So before you go out, put any spare money you have into the largest possible fuel scoop and put that into your six slot, your class six slot. D6 only costs about 350,000. Let's take a look. Okay, 450,000, sorry. Um, but that will fuel at a rate of 500 liters per second, which will basically fill up your entire tank in about, in under a minute, if you know how to properly fuel scoop. So go for that. Or better if you want. 
shield generator. You don't have to have this, this is optional. I put it in for bump protection. Um, I'm always bumping into things, especially on the way in and out of starports, um, and this will protect from that. It won't help you much if you get interdicted, but it might buy you a few extra seconds, which might be all you need. Um, this one only weighs two tons, doesn't use that much power. Um, selling it would increase my jump range again by about 0.25 light years, so that's up to you. Um, you might want an auto field maintenance unit, they weigh nothing. Um, get the very lightest one, because all you need to do is have it just to get yourself going again. Um, you don't need to be at 100%, and you can keep reusing it slowly when you're out there if necessary. But you don't want a huge power draw. Now, you want the detailed surface scanner as well, because that gets you extra credits when you scan things. Just having it there, you don't need to do anything with it, it just needs to be on your ship. And you want the advanced discovery scanner. Of all the three discovery scanners, this is the most expensive. It is 1.545 million credits, but it's absolutely necessary because when you activate this scanner, it will find every single object in an unknown system. You don't have to go out looking, it will save you hours of time, and it will lead you to finding really cool black holes and other things that are going to be too far away to find anyway. So that is an absolute requirement. Okay? Right, I think that's it. With all of this, and it's not going to cost you very much apart from the discovery scanner and the frame shift drive, you will have a very high jump range, 33.71. Just try it. You've probably never experienced anything like it. Getting about even just local space becomes an absolute breeze. Yes, um, I think there was something else. Uh, computer? <coughs> Playback last audio log. Hello, I am Commander Kai and I am the worst captain in space. I love myself so much and I am stupid and smelly. Computer. Shut up. No, you shut up. Woohoo! Cool. Okay, I'm gonna go and do that in a minute, but before I go, there's a couple more things I need to tell you. Firstly, you'll notice that I didn't mention anything about upgrading your fuel tank. That is because, firstly, it comes with a maximum one. And you should also notice that the higher frame shift drive you have, the more fuel efficient you get. So even though that's 24 light years, and on a lower frame shift drive, that might use quite a lot of um, fuel. As you can see, it's only a tiny amount. So you're going to be able to go very, very far before you refuel. Frame so shift drive there. charging. Another thing that's important to notice is that you're probably going to be over capacity. As you can see, that's red. Things get disabled. So, I've disabled my cargo hatch, and with my current loadout, Four, that works. Three, two, one, engage. And soon, hopefully, if you've got everything up to the way I've got it, you're going to be able to see lovely, lovely, interesting, beautiful, amazing things in space. Like, wait for it, this. Okay, hold on. It's a bit under dramatic. There we go. This is the kind of stuff you're going to be seeing in space. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope that it's been very helpful. I hope you'll end up exploring and seeing loads of cool things very, very soon. Um, and you're going to share some of those things with me because this is my favorite part of the game, exploring. So stay tuned because tomorrow's video is going to be about setting up your oculus rift and getting everything nice and crystal clear and applying all the tweaks that i've got in my thread i'm going to show you how to do them it's been a pleasure and so long space cowboys Whee!